Howdy folks, the letter S, and it's found in the book of Psalms, Psalm 98.5. It's written by one of the greatest psalmists of all time, sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. Of course, it strikes home with me because I play an auto harp. I know that David did not play an auto harp, but uh, nevertheless, he played on harp, and maybe someday I'm going to seek him out in glory, and we're going to play together on our harps. But uh, today, it's just a delight to bring the letter S, the verse, sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. I'm going to uh, play a little tune that I made for the verse. <laughs> Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song. Psalm 98 verse 5. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. You know, in, in Scripture, we are encouraged to sing, 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 sing. In the last year and a half, we have been encouraged not to sing, sing, sing. Uh, and it is completely anti-scriptural. The, the things that have gone on in, in, in the rulership and uh, leadership in our country is completely anti-God's word. Because there we are encouraged to sing. Now I know the purpose or the reasonings that we've been given for it is to protect ourselves against this COVID thing. Uh, people have various opinions and we each one has our own uh, uh, reason for believing what we believe. Uh, but I do believe that song certainly would have helped the disposition of a lot of people that have been discouraged and been disheartened and felt lonely. Uh, if, if there could have been more song, if there could have been more singing, if that would have been encouraged, uh, I believe that it, it would have been done awesome things for a lot of people. Uh, sing unto the Lord with the harp and with the harp and the voice of a song. What great, great, great uh, encouragement. And uh, uh, if we cannot do it in groups, ladies and gentlemen, I would encourage you to do it just where you are. Even when you are in isolation, uh, sing, sing a song. Uh, even if you just sing a short little verse like I have just sung uh, moments ago and uh, uh, singing short little verses and short little courses, something that you know off by heart, because this is what the Lord encourages us to do, to sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. Uh, great, great encouragement. Well, the... Uh, uh, Rever review verse is the F verse. It's also found in Psalm, the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 37, verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. I know that there has been great danger, great danger of people fretting against the workers of iniquity and uh, being envious against the workers of iniquity. Psalm 37 verse 1 warns us against that. Uh, so I would like to just close this set with a song that I wrote about the greatest psalmist of all. 
David. said, oh, I wish I could yodel like that. And I have sometimes said, well, if you let a horse stand on your foot long enough, you'll be able to. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I know that there would be better and easier lessons than that. But uh, I praise God that he has given me back the yodel. There was a time when my voice was so wore out that I could not yodel a note. It was just not there. And I just thank God that he has given it back to me. And so that is a form of singing praise and worship to my Lord. This encouragement is in God's word. And I would encourage you people, sing. Sing little choruses. If that's all you know, sing little choruses. Sing songs, verses of certain hymns that you know. Something that blesses your heart. Because if it blesses your heart, then it blesses our Lord. And so sing unto the Lord with a harp, with a harp and with the voice of a song. God bless you folks real good. Now, next week, it's the letter T. The letter T. I will let you guess where it might be found. Uh, but I want to encourage you, continue to memorize. We can do this. We're, we can see the end coming. So uh, continue to memorize and learn these verses. God bless you real good. <laughs>